chapter, we're going to be studying the limits to measurement. In this lesson, we're going to look at tolerance and nominal values. Okay, hi everybody. So now we're going to talk about tolerance and nominal value. Okay, and I know those maybe are a little kind of intimidating to look at here, but they're actually fairly easy ideas to get your head wrapped around, but you just got to pay attention to what we're doing here. So when you're manufacturing something, often a range of values is acceptable, okay? So I, I'm creating something uh, to be used in a specific way, um, and, and sometimes there's a fair bit of, of wiggle room in terms of, of like how long something has to be if it fits appropriately in a certain a certain spot here, or, or maybe we're talking about like, like an engine, you know, the, the piston fitting inside the engine block there, uh, and there's a very, very small tolerance, okay? Uh, we can't let that vary by too much or else the engine won't work, okay? So if, if, if it's too small, then, it, then the piston's too tight in the, in the, uh, the hole there, but if it's, if it's too big, then it rattles back and forth and it won't work, there's no power. So there's gonna be some communication about, about um, the, the tolerance that goes with uh, a certain measurement here. So like when you buy something, it's gonna be advertised and what they're gonna advertise is called the nominal value, okay? So we're gonna to be told that, that the, the thing that we're buying here is, is this, let's say this wide, so many centimeters wide here. So there's gonna be a nominal value and then we're gonna have plus or minus half of the tolerance. Now, what we mean by tolerance here is there is a maximum value that, that that measurement could be, and then there's a minimum value that that measurement could be, okay? This is your maximum, this is your minimum. Now, the, the difference here from the nominal value up to the top is called your range, and that range is gonna be the same on the top and the bottom here, okay? So basically, half of the tolerance is what we're gonna call the range here. The tolerance is the total distance between the two of them, tolerance, but the range is gonna be part way up here. So there's, there's this little bit of wiggle room here. The smaller the range is, the smaller the plus or minus is, the, the closer that the, the, sorry, the less variation we're expecting here. So when you, when you buy something, let's just say for example, you buy something that's, that's uh, five centimeters plus or minus, let's say 0 0.1 centimeters, Okay, what that means here is that's a really, really, that's a close fit, okay? It's, it might vary by a millimeter, okay? Uh, a, a millimeter above that, a millimeter below that. Now, compare that to let's say five centimeters plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. Well, that's a much smaller tolerance. There's a, not a lot of variation there in, the, in that length. That is, that is extremely small, that tolerance. So the smaller the tolerance, the, the closer all of the measurements that you're gonna get here, all of the possible values that that could be, the closer they're gonna to be to that, what we call the nominal value. I hope that makes sense. We're gonna go through some examples here in a bit here. Now, typically these measurements can be written in, in four different ways here. Sometimes you'll see it with the maximum value and the minimum value written on top of each other. So let's say that this is the one that we're talking about right now, okay? Well, we might write that as the maximum value of 5.1 centimeters, and this would be 4.9 centimeters. So the maximum value over the minimum value. Or we would write the minimum value, okay, 4.9 centimeters. And then they do this little, they got this kind of a strange little notation here. What you would see here at the bottom is we would say minus nothing. So at 4.9, we don't go down any, but we might go up uh, 0 0.2 centimeters. Because remember, if I'm adding plus or minus uh, 0.1 centimeters, that means I'm going down 0.1 centimeters and I'm going up 0.1 centimeters. Well, that's a, that's a total difference of 0.2 from the, from the bottom to the top. So if we put a minus nothing here, I know that this is the minimum value and that could go up another 0.2 centimeters. Another way to write that, and let's go down here, would be to write our maximum value, which we know is gonna be 5.1 centimeters. Well, I can't go up any more than that, but I could go down 0 0.2 centimeters. And that gives me a little bit of an idea of the spread. Or I could simply use the uh, notation that's probably more commonly used here than anything. 
the five point, uh, sorry, 5.0 centimeters. Actually, that's not how I wrote it. I just wrote it as five centimeters. Oops. I'll just leave it like that. So it could be five centimeters plus or minus now 0 0.1 centimeter, okay? So five centimeters is the middle. I could go down 0.1 or up 0.1. 5.1 is the maximum, so I can't go up any, but I could go down 0.2. 4.9 is the minimum, so I can't go down any, but I could go up 0.2. And the maximum value is 5.1, the minimum is 4.9. Okay, let's take a quick look at some questions here. Okay, so let's take a look at this first question here. It says, write the following in the form, nominal value plus or minus half the tolerance. Okay, well, here I'm giving you the maximum value and I'm giving you the minimum value. Okay. Well, the tolerance, okay, is going to be the maximum value, so 35.75 minus the minimum value. It's the difference between them, so 35.25. So 30, whoops, sorry, I'm going to just use my calculator here, okay. 35.75 minus 35.25 is going to give me a difference here of 0.5. Okay, so that's, that's my tolerance. There's a, there's a 0.5 swing, so this is what we've got here. Here's 35.75, down here, here's 35.25. There is a swing of 0 0.5 millimeters from the top to the bottom. Now, what I want is the middle, okay? What I want is the middle, so I really just want to drop down Half of that, this is going to be my nominal value right in the center here. Well, half of this, okay, half of that is going to be 0 0.25 millimeters. Okay, 0 0.25 is going to be half of that. This is what we're going to call the range. So now I can get the nominal value by simply taking 35.75 and subtracting 0.25, and that is actually going to get me if I go 35.75 minus 0 0.25, I'm going to get 35.50. That's my nominal value. Now, I could have also gotten that by starting at my minimum and adding. And so now, my final result here is going to be 35.50 millimeters plus or minus 0 0.25 millimeters. And that works because if I take 35.5 millimeters and add 0.25, I get this. If I subtract the 0.25, I go down to that. So that's what we're looking for. Now let's take a look at this one. My maximum value is 32. My minimum value is 26. Okay, well, there's, there's a bit of a swing there. So my tolerance is going to be my maximum minus my minimum. And 32 minus 26 degrees Celsius is going to be 6 degrees Celsius. Okay. So my, my maximum here was at 32. My minimum here is at 26. I want the nominal value in between, but there is a swing of 6 degrees Celsius here. Well, half of that is going to be 3 degrees Celsius. So that's my range. Okay, this is my range. So to get my nominal value, I'm really just going to go either down uh, three degrees from 32 or up three degrees from 26 doesn't really matter but my nominal value will be well let's come up from 26 here this time 26 degrees plus three degrees Celsius is going to be 29 degrees Celsius that's my nominal value that's the the value that's halfway in between so now my answer is going to be 29 degrees Celsius plus or minus my range here three degrees Celsius And then finally this one, my maximum is 40 inches, my minimum is 39 inches, so my tolerance is going to be 40 inches minus 39 inches. Well, that's just one inch. Okay, so we go over here once again. So here's my 40 inches, here's my 39 inches. That is a swing of one inch, which means my tolerance here, half of that is going to be half of an inch. So I'm either going to go up half of an inch from 39 or down half of an inch from 40 to get my nominal value, that one that's halfway in between, okay? 
So my nominal value here is going to be, and I think it's, it's pretty clear, it's going to be 39.5 inches. And so when I write that out the way I'm supposed to here, that is going to be 39.5 inches plus or minus 0 0.5 inches. Now, the other way that we could have found the nominal value in each one of these cases is to simply take the average of the maximum and the minimum values. Add them together, divide by 2. Add together, divide by 2, and so on. And that would get you the nominal value as well. The reason why I've gone through and explained it like this is because I really need you to understand what I mean by tolerance, what's meant by the range, and the fact that the nominal value is exactly halfway in between. It's the same distance down from the top as it is up from the bottom. Okay, so let's look at this next question here. It says, in order for a shelf to fit, it has to measure between 42 and 3 quarter inches, that's the minimum, it's got to be bigger than that, and 43 and 1 quarter of an inch. Okay, so it's like there might be this little ledge that it's sitting on. So as long as it's 42 and 3 quarters of an inch, it's just barely going to be sitting on that ledge. But if it's more than that, then it's, it's going to be too long and it won't actually fit in between the, the two walls, let's say. So we want to write the target measurement in the form nominal value plus or minus one half tolerance. And then we're going to write it in the, the different form where we're going uh, minimum value minus zero plus tolerance. But we'll get to that one in just a second. So first of all, we want to identify that our maximum here is going to be 43 and one quarter of an inch, which is really just 43.25 inches. It might be easier in this context here to, to convert those to decimals. The minimum value is going to be 42 and 3 quarters of an inch, or 42.75 inches. The tolerance is going to be the maximum, 43.25 inches, minus 42.75 inches, uh, and the difference there is going to be 0 0.5 inches. Okay, it's a half inch tolerance from the, from the maximum value to the minimum value. So, if my tolerance is that, that means my range is going to be half the tolerance. Well, a half of a half is going to be 0.25 inches, a quarter of an inch. Which means if I've got 43 and one quarter of an inch at the top and 42 and three quarters of an inch at the bottom, if you go down a quarter from that or up a quarter from that, I hope it's, it's pretty clear that you're going to get 42 inches. So that's my nominal value. So this means that it's going to be equal to 42 inches plus or minus the range, which is 0 0.25 inches. Or let's use our low value because that's what the question says here. Use our low value. Well, our low value was 42.75 inches or 42 and 3 quarters of an inch. That's going to be minus nothing but I could add the tolerance to that and we just found out over here that our tolerance was half of an inch. So we could add 0.5 inches to that. So we could write it either like this or we could write it like this. Okay, either way is, is acceptable. Okay, now this question says a piece of pipe needs to fall within the interval defined here which is five and a quarter inches, okay, Minus nothing, so I know that that's the minimum. So even before I start this question, start looking at it, I know that the minimum is five and one quarter inches or, or 5.25 inches. And it could go up half of an inch. Now when it's written in that form, I know that my tolerance has got to be equal to a half inch. So going from the minimum up to the maximum, I'm simply going to take this value right here and add a half inch to it. Well, that's going to be 5.25 inches plus a half inch, which is 0.5 inches. My maximum is 5.75 inches. Okay, now what does it say here? What are the minimum, maximum, and nominal values of, okay, of the length of the piper? Well, I've already got the minimum and the maximum. Already done that. Okay, the nominal value is going to be the value that's halfway in between. And I tell you what, this time let's do it like this. Let's time, to get the nominal value, let's take the min, add the max, and divide by 2. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be 5.25 plus 5.75 divided by 2. And if I go to my calculator, 
Okay, just take a couple moments and work that through. I will get that that nominal value should be 5.5 inches. That's the value that's right halfway in between both of those measures.